Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nicholas Pashers. I'm the founder and CEO of Bioaesthetics. At Bioaesthetics, we're focused on transforming reconstructive surgeries through regenerative medicine. Through, and our normal product is a nipple graft. I'm sure we all know someone who's been through breast cancer or mastectomy. Probably most famously is Angelina Jolie, who had a preventive mastectomy a few years ago. But she's not the only one. In fact, there are more than three million breast cancer survivors currently living in the United States. Roughly one out of every eight women will be diagnosed in their lifetime, leading to an annual market of $5 billion just on breast reconstructive surgeries from breast cancer. Now, after a woman has been diagnosed with breast cancer, she generally goes a mastectomy. A mastectomy is the part of complete removal of the breast tissue, including that of the nipple areal complex. Now, a nipple reconstruction actually offers significant health benefits beyond just aesthetics. Studies have shown that a woman is more likely to undergo a life-saving mastectomy if she can have a nipple reconstruction immediately afterwards. And that a nipple reconstruction actually increases self-esteem, body image, and decreases the feeling of distress a woman may have during a recovery period of a mastectomy. And current strategies to reconstruct a nipple are purely non-permanent and non-living solutions, such as prosthetic, rubber nipple aerial complexes that you take on and off at nighttime, non-living and non-permanent. Or you can have a tattoo of an image of a nipple onto the patient's chest, also non-living and non-permanent. Or there can be a reconstruction of pre-existing skin, skin from the breast tissue, the thigh, or underneath the arm. However, these tend to lose structural integrity within about three years and lie flat against that patient's chest, leading to a non-permanent solution. Biostex approach, however, is a complete regeneration, not just a reconstruction. And we start by using donor tissue, donor nipple areola complexes. And if you look at this underneath the microscope, all the cells and all of the DNA would show up as dark blue or purple. And the extracellular matrix, the protein, the stuff that gives it structure, the shape, show up, show up as pink. Our technology allows us to remove all the cells and all the DNA, all the blue stuff, but completely leave intact the pink stuff, the protein, the stuff that gives it its structure, leaving the outside aesthetics of the nipple completely intact. So we took this graft and we introduced patient stem cells, patient skin cells, and patient blood vessel cells to see how they interact, if it was a safety profile. We saw a very low cell death and high cell viability. But as tissue engineers, we know that the biggest challenges are functional blood vessels in nerves, innervation. We've been asked by plastic surgeons and patients alike, will there ever be sensation? And although that's a huge question that we can't answer right now, we can say that in a laboratory setting, we were able to grow nerves 111 micrometers deep just after two days of culture, showing the potential of this product in the future and where bioaesthetics is headed as well. Now, as for functional blood vessels, uh, for blood. We then engrafted this into a living model, into a mouse. Everything to the left of the blue line is biostatics graft, and everything to the right is the host tissue. As we zoom in, we can see that blood vessel formation occurred, as indicated in blue, and new skin formed, as indicated in green, just after three weeks of implantation. Now, one, now one of our largest accomplishments while being at IndieBio it was actually a large animal study where we engrafted several of these nipples. Now, although this is still ongoing, we're going to give you a little sneak peek at the data just after one week. Now, everything to the top of the blue line is biostatics graft, and everything below it is the host tissue. The tip of the nipple is indicated at the top of your screen. We saw that just after one week, cells migrated all the way from the host tissue, the blue line, all the way to the tip. And that indicated in the green arrows, new skin cell formation was occurring around the base of the nipple. When we zoom in, we can actually see where the host tissue, indicated in orange arrows, actually migrated into the new biostatics graft, indicating green arrows, creating a completely new skin formation along its way to a completely regenerated nipple areola complex. Now, the way that biostatics works as a company is that we partner with tissue banks and organ procurement facilities, and we process this tissue in-house with the cost of goods approximately $500 per nipple. We then sell these nipples for $3,000 at high volume clinics, then we'll go to low volume clinics, and then finally hospitals for a widespread adoption. We already have 60 patients lined up for our graft, and five early adopters, five plastic and reconstructive surgeons, are already lined up as well. 
one of which is from a high volume clinic that has seven to 800 breast reconstructions per year in the US. We'll utilize these early adopters for out of pocket expense payers, then we'll apply for a re insurance reimbursement code after two years so that we can go into those hospitals to have a widespread adoption to become the standard of care for nipple reconstruction around the US. We were the first group to identify and to publish about this strategy to reconstruct nipple areola complexes. And we have a nationalized patent for which we have an exclusive option to license through Tulane University, which covers a method to process, to derive the graft, the graft itself as a device, and also a very special way to engraft it to encourage skin growth and blood vessel formation. Now as for regulatory, we fall through a very special pathway through the FDA called HCTP, which stands for Human Derived Cell and Tissue Products. And because we fall through this pathway, we're purely a registration process and not an approval process. And because we're a registration process, we require no clinical data in order to get to market, allowing us to hit market within 12 to 18 months of today. Now, 56% of all breast reconstructions currently utilize material that have been through this pathway of the FDA, such as Alloderm and FlexHD. Before going to IndieBio, we had just finished our small animal study in mouse. While being in IndieBio, we started our pilot study in large animal and began to fill out our tissue supply, signing three contracts. From here, we'll finish our safety and efficacy trial, apply for our FDA registration, and be within market and revenue within 12 to 18 months. My name is Nicholas Pashos. I'm the founder and CEO of Bioaesthetics, co-inventor of technology, a National Science Foundation fellow, and I have over 10 years' experience of tissue engineering and biomaterials. My business partner, Billy Heim, is the CEO of the company, an MBA. He's an experienced entrepreneur with five years' experience in biotech, biotech startups, as well as has worked in project management and fundraising. We have a truly phenomenal board made up of biotech executives, such as Sabrina Johnson and Sandra Sufal as well as two plastic surgeons, Scott Sullivan and Abigail Chafin, who together with their centers actually make up 1% of the breast reconstruction market, and Dr. Bruce Bennell, the co-inventor of the technology. As for our funding strategy, we're currently in the middle of our seed round of $3 million, which we have one third of it already accounted for. This will allow us to finish our safety and efficacy trials through the FDA and into revenue within 12 to 18, 18 months of today. We're Bioaesthetics, thank you very much. Thank you.